3A2 Steel Beam Experiment In this laboratory session, we will observe and measure the response of a steel beam to loading in both the elastic and plastic ranges. The beam is simply supported and will be subjected to a single point load at mid-span. The dimensions of the beam, as well as the required geometric properties, are as follows. The beam will be gradually loaded in increments of 5 kN via the hydraulic test rig until failure occurs. The response of the beam in terms of displacement and strain will be measured and recorded with the System 7000 data acquisition system. Displacement at mid-span will be measured using a Linear Variable Displacement Transducer or LVDT. Strain will be measured at four locations using bonded resistive strain gauges. Two are located at quarter span and two at mid span. Their positions are below the neutral axis, as illustrated. As the beam is loaded and begins to bend, fibres above the neutral axis will be subjected to compression. Conversely, fibres below the neutral axis will be subjected to tension. In this test, the positive values of strain observed indicate that this region is undergoing tension. Before starting the test, the strain gauges, force transducer and displacement transducer values must be zeroed using the software. The force is then applied in increments of approximately 5 kN. We will pause at each increment to measure the response of the beam. Up until the onset of yielding, the measured displacement increases linearly with respect to increasing applied force. Likewise, the strain values will increase linearly in the elastic region. You will notice that the strain value on strain gauge 4 is approximately double that of strain gauge 3. This is because it is twice as far from the neutral axis. The same holds true for strain gauges 2 and 1. Similarly, strain gauge 2 displays about half the value of strain gauge 4. This is because it is only half the distance from the support and thus is subject to only half of the applied moment. At this point of the experiment, the increase in strain on gauge 4 accelerates when compared to the others. This is an indication that local yielding is occurring at this part of the beam, which is subjected to the largest bending moment and hence the highest strains. The same will soon occur with strain gauge 3 as more and more of the beam begins to yield and then behave plastically. Local compression failure along the top flange causes the test machine loading ramp to rotate. This brings about a perceived reduction in displacement as the side of the loading ramp holding the LVDT rises. However, this is not a real decrease in displacement. Displacement data from this point forward should be disregarded. Strain gauge 4 has now been overextended and torn. This results in an off-scale reading on the display. Local failure of the top flange then occurs. The test machine stops as the next force increment cannot be applied. This value of force is known as Fmax. 
the beam has reached its maximum capacity and has failed. The irrecoverable deformation of the beam after removal of the load is apparent at mid-span. Upon closer inspection, the local compression failure of steel in the top flange under the loading ram is also highly visible. The handout for this lab, as well as sample data from this experiment, may be found via either of the links on your screen. Please use the data to complete the lab report. The following must be included in your submitted report. Best of luck, and we hope to see you back in the lab soon.